Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Scent Angle Teacher. And oh, we're working, I'm working on Valentine, <clears throat> excuse me, Valentine cards today. And I'm using my botanical uh, tangles that I've come up with. And you can see all sorts of different um, tangles on my cards. I've, I've really had a lot of fun doing them. And today I'm going to do the one that's 20 Botan. <clears throat> it's like botanical, but 20 Botan. It didn't have, you know, Zentangle doesn't really need to have a name, but this one kind of looks like a, I don't know, a poppy of some kind. But I've got another one I named Poppy, so let's get started with this one. And I'm going to just, I think. I was going to just draw it right on the card, but I think I'm going to pick up a um, a bookmark because when I went to class, I um, I drew a bunch on bookmarks, and I really liked how this one turned out on the bookmark. And so I'm going to just draw this one on on the bookmark. I might have to adjust my camera a little bit and come in so we can see it. And I'm going to let you see the step outs as I draw it so that you can see. And I I started with this one. I decided I was just going to start in the center of my bookmark. And I don't I don't know if it's easier to see it on that color or if it's easier to see it on a dark. Well, it might be a little easier to see it on the dark background. So, um, but I'm just going to start with just a stem and I called it a U-shape with a little wavy top. So you just do that U shape with that little wavy top. It almost looks like a little tulip. And then we're going to come out, do a little wavy top, and come down in. And do that on both sides. And then little wavy petals on the back. So it's a fairly simple little tangle. And then I like to do that where I take off. So I put my pen down and then take off and it and lift my pen as I go up to give that a little light stroke up. And I might even also do it right in here. And then we're going to come and we're going to make a kind of a U shape. And I know Zentangle is <clears throat> really not anything. It's not supposed to represent something. But sometimes you just want to have something that's just a little bit different. And if you have step outs to make that, then you can. So there is my um, my little tangle botan. So I'm going to make another one. But this time I'm just going to make my little U shape at the bottom. And then I'm going to just draw a couple of little leaves. So they're almost like a little bud coming out. And then I'm going to just put some little tiny dots that come out of that because it just kind of helps. And now we're going to put some leaves on here. So I'm just going to do a pointed on both end leaf. So 
So it's a, just a slight little leaf on there. Now to, to extend this, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to just extend this little line and I'm going to make my U again with my wiggly line and my little side pieces and then my little back. And then my little skinny leaves that are on there or whatever we whatever kind of a tangle you want to call that and I could even bring another one a little smaller And I always think that it's the shading that makes the difference in your tangle or the little added things that you do to, to this. I'm going to turn it back around and I'm going to draw me another one that comes up. Sometimes I get just to where I do the same kind of um, tangle all the time. I mean, a little, um, if I'm doing a vine of some kind, I will um, just do the same. You know, I may put um, a flux in here. And so I'm trying to just give myself... a challenge not to put what I or I might even end up putting some uh, fescue in here and so I'm trying not to put in what I normally put in I want to just stick with the a botanical look or organic look so I have several so um, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shade this. And I really liked it when I shaded this with a, um, I shaded it with my, let's see what I did with that pen, pencil. There it is. The um, French gray. And I'm going to sharpen this a little, so excuse me just a second. because I like them sharp and just a, I get them pretty dull and so I like them sharpened up just a little bit and now I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put a little French gray right down here at the bottom and then a line of it right across here so some French gray down here and then all across that little wavy line. Even on my little small ones. So I'm going to take my odorless paint thinner and I'm going to wet it down in my 
where my sponge is and now I'm going to blend and I've got a little bit on my on my shading stump so But you can see how you can use a graphite pencil for this, but I wanted something that was just a, a little bit more brown looking than, um, than I used a graphite pencil here, and you can see um, a difference in it. And so I wanted to just use uh, something a little bit different. And <clears throat> Now I'm going to, I'm going to continue to draw on this and maybe um, add another little bud that's coming off. I just felt like it needed it needed just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my, my little dots. But when I when I start thinking, oh, this needs just a little bit more, just a little bit something, I sometimes will go to my um, jelly rolls, and this is kind of a peach. Let's see what it is, a metallic, and I do not sell this one, and I'm not sure what the color is, but we're going to try it. Oh, it's a little peach. I'm just going to put a little bit of metallic on here. I'm going to make my leaves that peach color. So I get a little bit of a different look with just by adding you know, a jelly roll that has a little bit. I will put a link in the description below where you can get these. Uh, and I'm just going to put some dots in here. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some more interest. I'm just going to add just some little tiny dots. I usually put three and um, and it's pretty it's a pretty wet um, ink and so you can put them together. They almost have a look of hearts. Matter of fact when I was a toll painter and one of my um, Um, students at my class said, remember Melinda, those are Dolly Pardon hearts. And um, so I'm going to come in real close and, I, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, oops, a little bit too close. It won't focus. Hopefully it will focus in. So you put a dot and a dot. And then you put another dot here and it kind of draws it in so it has, I don't know, we just called them Dolly Pardon Hearts. They have a little cleavage in there. And you can just put some, but I just like that, that little metallic look. Oops, gosh. And, um, and how that makes that look so... You know, just so festive and you've got a great little bookmark to give out and <clears throat> it does I think it needs a little border so I'm gonna just darken this very very edge with my um, my cool gray or French gray uh, pencil 
And as I do this, this kind of gives that jelly roll time to dry. Jelly rolls take a little bit longer because of the kind of ink they are. So I have that ink all the way, I mean the pencil all the way around. My pencil doesn't want to stay where I put it. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of, and I've done this several times, so I'm just kind of, it's just kind of becoming just a fun way to add that little color. You can even do this if you don't have color pencils. You can take your graphite pencil and just uh, get the same kind of look with it. Let's see if I can find one where I, yeah, this one I just used a graphite pencil and and did it with a graphite pencil. But this one I want kind of to match the, um, what I've been doing. Might need a little bit more odorless paint thinner. I love reading. I love bookmarks. I love to give them away. And um, so there we have the um, 20 Botan, Botan, T-A-N-B-O-T-A-N, Tangle. And I'm going to come back in again, and I'm going to add with my um, O5 so I don't squish the tip. I'm just going to add some little dots in here that kind of give a little bit more interest. And there you go. There is the step there. Here are the step outs. And so you can see what fun this tangle was to do. It's a little bit different. Um, than most, but I'm just having some fun with some flowers and a little organic stuff. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And have a great day.